Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to bring you my very first vlog. I know that I have been MIA, but I have so much to update you guys on. In fact, I really should be welcoming myself back to my channel. Welcome back, girl. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just roll the intro <laughs> and we'll be back. Also, because this is a vlog, okay. all right, okay. So anyway, you know you guys had seen my previous bathroom with all of my skincare routine videos. So obviously, this is gonna be the new space once I get started again with my skincare videos. So what I wanted to share with you today is actually how I organize the new bathroom space um, because it's set up a lot differently before, you know, I had like product shell. Given all of what has happened in the beauty and skincare community over the last year, particularly with brands like I previously supported, I felt a little bit violated having like th those product displays and stuff in my in my sanctuary, in my bathroom, in my bedroom. So with this new home, I'm really trying to do it differently. And honestly, it's not groundbreaking. It's just being like a normal person and just having what you use. Before I had like, you know, the cute displays, the shelfies, the cabinets and stuff. So anyway, we will get into it. I'm going to switch cameras so that I can take you around the bathroom space and show you how I have set everything up. And of course, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another video when I finally get my schedule back together. All right, let's go. Here we are. This is my new bathroom space. And first, the best thing about it, which is one of my favorite things, is that hubby and I have separate vanities. Of course, I took the biggest one. Everything that I need is situated here. First, let's start with the obvious. This is my new beauty cabinet. And here I have um, my devices, mask that I'm currently using and all of my skincare and rotation. My makeup brushes up here, just some extra things. This bowl holds the, um, the chargers for my devices. Um, you can see my steamers in the back there, an extra candle for I had a vanity shelving over the vanity shelving on the wall in the bathroom and then an entire cabinet just filled with a lot of stuff and i said i absolutely did not want to have that in my personal space anymore it started feeling like a department store and i just that, that just had to stop you know so again my products these are exfoliants and my spfs and serums and oils these are more serums and treatments and moisturizers and then in this little section here are essence so yeah so that's this is my skincare setup and then skincare flows over onto the countertops so over here i have my cleansers that i'm using this is my first cleanse, my oil cleanse. You guys know that I love this already. I've been using this Biologique. I didn't like it at first, but I've been using it in the morning and I really do like it. And then my gel cleanser is my Polish Shores Face Wash. I love this so much. This is a new bottle. And then a little body oil, a little exfoliating, lip balm, and this is my Tatcha brush and bowl for the rice polish. And then on the other side is sort of like my body section, my body lotion, hand lotion, 
This is my cotton in here. The girls broke my little cover. Moisturizer and some lip balms. So essentially this is like my skincare flow. So when I'm washing my face, I will make sure that I had to learn to make sure that I open the cabinet first so that I don't have product in my hands getting onto the handle and stuff. So I just take what I need from there and continue and everything goes right back up here. And so far it has been working out really well for me. Okay, and then in the bottom half of the cabinet, this is where my makeup is living, right here. And then these are all, I guess you can say, soft finishings, I think that's what they call them. Okay, so I did another purge on my makeup collection. It usually is only in here, but in my vanity drawer, I did have things like my foundation bottles that obviously didn't fit in here. So I just got one of these little drawers that you can see the foundations are in there. This is um, a Louboutin eyeshadow. Pat McGrath palette is here. I do intend to lower this shelf so that I get this. So a little extra space on here because I would like to replace this tiny drawer with another one this size and lowering it will help me do that. So this is my foundation drawer and it pairs with this obviously. And these are blushes, highlighters, and then miscellaneous pencils, primer. These are eye palettes. This is actually a lipstick. And then all of my lipsticks are on top. And then these all the way out so I can actually just take one out and set it down and then put it back. Okay, and then below that I have my turbans for when I wash my hair. So I keep, these are pretty much all quick towels. And what I'm gonna do guys, I will link my blog post about the organization of the bathroom and that will include links to everything that you're seeing, like all of my drawers, uh, my acrylic things that my makeup is in, turntables and stuff like that. Everything that I can link to, I will have it linked in the blog post. So in the description of this video, you will find the link to my blog post. So just go ahead there and shop to, to your heart's content. Okay, let me see if I can squat. Bust it, bust it. Okay, no, my knees, my knees gonna bust. All right, anyway, so <laughs> next drawer. <laughs> These are clean towels. Uh, these were gifted to me and I absolutely see the hype. They're so big though, I cut them for obvious reasons, but I actually cut them wrong, but it's still fine. So I use these to like remove my oil cleanse, um, dry my face, whatever's needed. And down in this drawer, I have reusable cotton rounds and my back scrubber. If you saw my back knee, um, how to treat back knee video, then you know what this guy is. And these are all in here. And our washcloths. And then down here are our bath towels. Also, if you're interested in my towels, I did a blog post on the best plush towels that are budget friendly. And these are listed on there. So I will also link that blog post in the description if you're interested in checking out some towels. Linen cabinet slash beauty cabinet situation. Okay. In the vanity here, I just have a little drawer 
that is my hair drawer. I, I don't do much with my hair. These are like my satin scrunchies for my pineapple when I'm sleeping. A few pins, brush comb, I mean, you can see. And then below that I have, my husband calls this my inception cabinet. He's like, you put a cabinet in a cabinet? Yeah. So <laughs> the, this has my nail stuff. This is a gel light um, remover polishes that I mostly use. And then these are the tools like cuticle and files and all of that stuff in that little pouch. And then below that, the rest of my hair accessories. And then just a few miscellaneous things that are in this drawer, like cuticle remover, yes, paint patches, pimple patches, matches for the candles, cotton balls for my nails and stuff like that. Okay, and then on the other side, I have my, I guess this is my um, dental hygiene station. So these are my retainers, my deodorant, floss. This is a charger for my toothbrush. Some whitening, Q-tips, extra cotton if I need it, and my toothpaste. And I really love these containers that I got because if you notice, they don't slide around. And that's something that drives me insane when you put stuff, when you put these little compartments in, because it's never, unless you custom, it's never going to fit all of the space. So there's always some slight gap, you know, like there's a little space here and you could put things there. I put them center. This particular product that I got is fantastic because it does not slide around. It, the bees needs okay and again all of this will be linked in the blog post all right so below that oh my gosh these squats are killing me okay if i'm if i sound out of breath if i sound out of breath it's <laughs> it's me getting to the floor to show you guys this because my knees are not I do not have stallion knees. Okay, so this is another sort of miscellaneous drawer. I've got some scissors, various tools, extra razor handles, some petty stuff, petty care things. And then this is extra razors, my toothbrush holder, my brush, soap, my makeup brushes. And then below here are my hair products. There are some that are missing because I washed my hair last night, so they're in the shower. But I do keep everything in here. And this is great because it's it's a tall drawer, so it will hold our conditioner. Curly hair girls, you know what I mean? It will hold our really big hair products. Okay, and then I'll show you guys, but we're keeping the center free as possible. This is extra nail polish that I'm trying to decide if I'm keeping or not, but we're keeping this area clear as possible because we just want to keep an eye on the pipes that are under the cabinets to make sure that there are no drips that are happening that we're unable to see. That is my section of the bathroom. Okay, so let's mosey on over to hubby's side and see what he has going on um, so this is his little product vignette he doesn't use much product so the few extra things that he needs he will just grab it from my cabinet all right so this is his toothpaste charger all of that stuff and then on this side is just some extra cotton q-tips and we have we still have a lot of space that we can work with here okay and then his artisan soaps honestly 
he should be the blogger and not me. You guys think that I'm extra, but yeah, hubby is, hubby is also. Um, his hair products, styling products, and then things like shampoos, oils, lotion, in the bottom half. And again, keeping the pipes clear. Okay, and then on the other side, we have, let me do another squat, okay. These are shavers, like his hair clippers and stuff like that, that's in here. And these are his do-rags, some extra stuff, so. And then his hair brushes. And a little mirror in the corner for when he needs to see the back of his head. And I will link to the drawers in the blog post. Okay. So that is hubby's section. All right guys, so that's it for my first vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the blog post with all of the links to all of the containers, little drawers, trays, whatever it is that you're seeing. Once I can link to it, it will be in that post. And of course, shopping through those links will support my container shopping habit so that I can continue to organize um, additional spaces. Please comment and let me know if you like this sort of thing because I've got closet organization, pantry organization, laundry room, the girls' bathroom, and kitchen. Did I say kitchen? Kitchen, pantry. So I've got tons of organization content for you. So comment and let me know if you'd like to see a vlog on those two and I will see you next time. Bye.